you're watching Wildflower Video Tips, I'm Lindsay Mo. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a template project for recipe videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. <music> Setting up a template in Premiere Pro has saved me hundreds of hours of editing. It's not that hard to do, a little bit of work up front, and it's really going to save you a lot of time and energy down the road. If you are editing a lot of food videos, I highly recommend setting one of these up. Let's dive in. To set up a template project, you'll want to start by opening up a new clean project. Alternatively, if you have a project you've already done that matches how you'll be setting up your template, you could start with that to save a little bit of time. We're going to first set up our bins, which I've covered in another video, so be sure to go back and watch that if you want to know more about bins, but basically you come down here on the bottom left to new bin. We're going to create one for every different type of thing we might want to organize in our project. So this is going to be footage, music, voiceover, graphics. sequences, and I might be forgetting one, but we can always come back and add it later. After that, we can pull in any assets that we might be using frequently in our project. So I'm going to pull in a graphic with my logo on it. You might want to pull in music if you use the same music anytime or anything you're going to be using over and over in your projects. I like to create a few commonly used sequences, so I'm going to click on Sequence, File, New, Sequence, and I'm going to go up here and choose ARRI 1080p, and we will name this Wildflower Template 16 by 9. And you'll want to choose however you shot your footage, so that's usually going to be, for me, this one right here. And I can go ahead and duplicate that. We'll call this one square. And then if I click on it and go up to sequence, sequence settings, I can adjust this to 1080 by 1080. So it's square. And I also like to create one For tall video pins. You can do this for whatever kind of sequence you frequently use if you have a different size. So now we have three sequences set up and I'm going to go ahead in my 16 by 9 and pull in my logo. I'm only going to pull it into the 16 by 9 and I will come back to that in a minute here. The biggest part of setting up a template is the titles and that's the one I forgot. I knew there was one. This is what will allow you to save the most time in editing future projects. I also have a video where I show you the two ways to create titles in Premiere Pro. For this template we're going to set up legacy titles so you can go ahead and Click on Titles in the Project window, then go to File, New, Legacy Title. You're going to do this for all your most commonly used ingredients. So let's say I use, I like them to be capitalized, I'm going to use olive oil. And then make sure you're on the Type tool. We can move this over so it's easier to see. If you don't already have a style saved for what you'll be using, you can go ahead and create it. So I'm on the type tool. I'm going to type in olive oil and we'll just adjust this window so it's easier to manage. And I can go in and choose whatever font I'd like. I can center it. You might not need your titles in the same place 
in every video you make, but try to figure out which one you're going to use most often if you want them centered, or you can go up here and grab the selection tool and move them down towards the bottom and just center them this way, or you can set them off to the side. Whatever will work best for you. I currently like my titles in the center. So if this is exactly how I want it, I'm going to go to this little hamburger menu and choose new style. We'll call this wildflower sample. And I can pull that up towards the top so it's easy to find. And we'll go ahead and close. And now olive oil is our first title available. We will go back and do that for all of our most commonly used ingredients. So let's say we're also using black beans. When you type in the name of the title, you can press Command A and Command C to save yourself a little bit of typing. Go into the type tool, select your style, click inside the window and then Command V to paste it. And then I just need to center it and it's done. If you don't feel like sitting down and adding tons of new titles at once, another option is to just add titles to your template each time you make a new video. For example, let's say I was editing a video for black bean burgers. Before I get started editing, I can open up my template project and add a new title for each ingredient that I'll be using, such as black beans, breadcrumbs, and egg. I would then save my template before starting on my new project. That's really all there is to setting up a template project. To use your template, open it up, then you can either go to File, Save a Copy, or import your footage into your footage bin, and then choose File, Save As to save it as a new project. Make sure you're not editing directly in your template unless you're adding new titles or other elements that you want to be in the template. Otherwise, you'll make more work for yourself in removing footage and sequences every time you want to start a new project. I will usually do my initial editing in the 16 by 9 sequence, then select it all, copy by pressing Command C, and going into my square, setting it at the beginning, and Command V to paste it. And then I can just adjust anything needed inside the square sequence. That's why we don't need to include any of the elements like the end graphic here in the square sequence because it will be copied and pasted over once we're done editing. That's all there is to it. Setting up template projects saves me a ton of time when I'm editing recipe videos and I think it'll help you too. That's it. I really think setting up a template in Premiere Pro is gonna be a huge game changer for you. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. I would love to have you join our Facebook group if you would like to have the conversation over there. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe so you never miss another video. I will be back next week with even more tips. Until then, I'll see you later.